Larry Anglisano reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb here at uh, Garmin's Flight Ops, Olathe, Kansas. Now, Garmin has been busy earning STCs for a wide variety of products for small airplanes, everything from the G3X Touch to standalone navigators. But what a lot of people don't realize is Garmin has also been busy for retrofitting avionics in jets including the Citation XLS behind me. It's the G5000 integrated avionics, and there's a sizable demand for retrofit for that system in an XLS like this. To tell us more about that project, here's Garmin's Dave Brown. On the, on the integrated cockpit retrofits, we started with the King Air, started with the C90, the 200, and the 350, worked our way up. And on those programs, we actually get everything out of the airplane avionics-wise and start with a clean slate. And that includes autopilot, radar, the whole nine yards. The King Air product line there, the G1000 King Airs came out over 10 years ago. We're still selling as many today as we did 10 years ago, which is just amazing to me. Incredible program. And we have over 600 in the field today. And what it does is, really the same thing that we're doing here we did on the beach jet g5000 retrofit that we're working on in the uh, xl xls right now it's basically you got a great airframe that everybody loves the thing is these things came out and from an avionics history came out in the mid 90s what else do you have in your home electronic wise that you have from the mid 90s probably nothing i bet your cell phone isn't a flip phone or the big old bag phone still but the avionics in this airplane are so you get a citation xl you actually have a big crt you don't have that except in your guest bedroom maybe on the uh, tv stand everything's gone to lcd and the thing is a lot of things have changed electronically in the last 20 years so this gives that same opportunity uh, to get everything that's in a brand new airplane. So the G5000 that we're putting in the Citation XL is also in the Citation 10, the Sovereign, the Latitude, the Longitude, and its sister products in the M2 and the CJ3+, Plus, the G3000. Basically same general platform we have. Now you can take your existing airplane that's 10, 15 years old that you love and upgrade it with everything. And again, that includes new autopilot, radar, even when you look at the cockpit, the, the ergonomics that you now have in a new aircraft. So before you had autopilot controls down here and up here, now we take where all the cast messaging was up in the glare shield, we incorporate that into the G5000. Now we open up that space to put the autopilot controller up where it is in every, every brand new airplane you see today. So it's an incredible way to modernize. When you get into the cockpit after it's had the G5000 upgrade, the first thing you can't help but notice are the three large 14-inch displays that replace the older CRT displays. We literally don't have room for any bigger screens. If you look at the way the screens hit the corner of the panel, which is, which is awesome. So you do have everything you'd expect in a Garmin integrated flight deck. If you have your synthetic vision, there's your AOA and all the other data. The neat thing too with our displays are the ability to split screen. So you've got your primary flight display and you've got your multifunction uh, display. Now you look at the multifunction display, you can actually split that and the pilot can have one side and the co-pilot can have the other and you can select what you want on those screens. Same thing on your primary flight display, there's a little switch in the pedestal, you just flip it and now that gives you the ability to do a split screen on those. Or if you did lose a screen, you actually have the ability to go to a reversionary mode on the display. Some other things as we look across the panel, you'll notice these little control panels on top of the display. Those are primarily for backup if anything happened to your touchscreen controller. So this is the main way you're gonna control your data, your flight planning, you know, what you wanna look at. Hey, if I want to pause on this screen, I'll hit a pause button. If I want traffic, I could press a traffic button or if I just want to go back to my primary map, I press map button. And if you're familiar with Garmin Logic, even from a 430 or 530 or more so from a GTN 750, you're going to notice this has much of the same Garmin Logic throughout the system. So besides getting your three displays, you also get the full autopilot and it's controlled by a new autopilot controller. And again, this autopilot controller is going to function and feel just like one on a brand new aircraft coming out of a production line. 
Uh, and you're going to have all your modes, your, your airspeed climbing modes, your VNAV. You can actually, you know, VNAV down to an approach and it'll transition into the approach. Everything you'd expect in this class of airplane. If you go down to uh, losing both generators in this configuration with G5000, you'll still have the pilot's primary flight display and you'll have the multifunction display over on this side. This takes years. This is a big deal when we do an autopilot CERT program. And it's tough to decide. It's going to be a lot of money. The big thing we do is, more first is you look at uh, numbers. You know, there's almost 700 Citation XL XLSs out there. Same when we decide to do the beach jet G5000. You've got 700 of those aircraft, you know, out in the market. So the number game, you do that, and you go what percent of the market you can get. And then you do look at the product obsolescence. You know, doesn't make sense. And the value of the airplane doesn't make sense to upgrade. And when you look at that, uh, that scenario, you just don't look at, hey, I'm going to spend this much money and the airplane's worth this much. I think you really look at what you have at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, you go put G5000, hey, you take an airplane, if you put new paint interior, you may have on like a beachhead option for winglets and different things to it. And you compare that to another airplane that's equipped that way, you're going to find out that uh, you're so many dollars ahead with that airframe. Now, the fully integrated G5000 isn't the only option for some jets. A company called Jet Tech recently earned an STC for installing Garmin's G600 and 700 series TXI retrofit displays in 500 series citations. And the company also has an STC for the GTN 750 touchscreen navigator on those jets. So we started this over two years ago. These projects are so big, not only because you're replacing all the displays and everything in the panel and all the LRUs out in front, the columns and abs, the FMS, everything else, it's the autopilot. Autopilot is probably three quarters of the work of our certification. And the reason you do the autopilot, it's not always because the autopilot in it was bad, it's that there's no ability to tie into another manufacturer's autopilot. You just can't do it. So if you wanna change out the cockpit, you change out everything with the airframe, which at the end of the day makes sense. You're starting with a clean, you know, clean slate, almost zero time in your avionics, just like you do your engines. Now, the typical G5000 retrofit for an XLS, which can depend on trade value of the removed avionics, is around a half million dollar investment. Now, that might be an upgrade sweet spot for an aging legacy jet. In smaller, newer jets, Garmin also has a G3000 with versions in Cirrus Vision Jet, the Honda Jet, Embraer Phenom Jet, and also in the Piper M600 and Dihair TBM turboprops. After flying that system in all of them, we'd like to see G3000 retrofits for G1000 equipped turbines. Now, Garmin isn't the only manufacturer focusing on retrofitting older jets. Avidyne has an STC for retrofitting its IFD series navigators for legacy citations. That'll enable autopilot coupled LPV approaches in those airplanes. Now, we'll look at the avionics retrofit market for legacy jets and turboprops in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. For Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook.